four different events and four different winners. In the 2021 Marvel Champions League so far, this season could not be more wide open as we get into event number five of this season. Glad to be here again, folks. Keanu Bittersiki for Marble Fubica. Everybody competing again for that cup, as always, as we have a look inside of our gigantic stadium. Here's the overall standings. Flush after getting their first gold. Our fourth different winner in four events. They hold a one-point lead over the Vikings, who have not placed better than third, but they've done it twice. They're the only team to medal in the same spot multiple times so far this year, earning a couple of bronzes, and that has moved them just one single point behind the lead. As you have a look at our course for today's event, very similar to our event from last time. Have that Plinko-style board. Should be a fun one. The teams are ready. The fans are ready. Are you ready? This is event number five of the 2021 Marble Champions League. This is Pinball. Have a look at our groupings here for today's event. As you know by now, each event has different groups, still the same style, groups A, B, C, and D. Top two from each will advance to the semifinals. Top two from each semifinal make it to the finale. Groups change every time. We will start with group A, which today is the Steel Brothers, the Janitors, the Leaders, the Flush, and the Snow Wolves. Down they go, making their way. And let's see what the scoring ends up as. And it scores based off of where you're hitting. And you can see there, it's based off of how far you're going. And then if you land in those certain big spots there, that's going to either increase or decrease your score. The Steel Brothers and the Janitors advance. Let's have a look again. And as we kind of make our way through this course and kind of figure out exactly how it's going to run. Have a look at the replay and see how we got to where we are. So you can see there, they're going to ricochet off of those barriers in the middle. You want to avoid those negatives and maybe land on the positives if you can. The Flush scored 79 points because of the distance they went. So they're eliminated. As were the uh, Snow Wolves there. So the Steel Brothers and the Janitors advance. So that first group kind of showing you exactly how this is going to happen. The rest of the groups know exactly what to do now. You want to get as far as possible. Group B is Swiftblade, the Sphery Spiders, the Trojans, and the Blue Jackets. Down they go. Looks like a big opportunity for the Blue Jackets. They kind of have an issue. And in the corner, we're going to have a couple of scores that will be good. It'll be Swiftblade with 113, the Trojans with 111. They're advancing as the Blue Jackets and the Sphery Spiders are eliminated. It's about as far as you can go for Swiftblade and the Trojans. And you can't go a whole lot less than the Sphery Spiders did. Nobody landing in either a positive or negative spot. So it's really just based off of how far each marble able to carry its distance. And so far, that's worked out for Swiftblade and the Trojans. Hard contact there for the Sphery Spiders directly into one of those pylons there. And that really stalled any momentum whatsoever. Caused them not only to not advance, but rather to finish in last. So a disappointment for them. They will not advance. And our first semifinal is set up as Swiftblade and the Trojans advance from Group B. Group C today is the Vikings, Tatu Bola, Onyx, and Oris 1. First one down are going to be the Vikings. Can they do something? Yes, they can. Looks like a pretty strong run everywhere. Is there a plus 20? Not quite. And did the Trojan, or the Vikings, excuse me, did they advance? The answer is no. Tatu Bola with 110 points. 108 for Onyx. They advance over the Vikings 107. Wow, what a crazy round that one is. Incredibly close, a little bit too much in terms of uh, speed there, it looks like, from the Vikings actually ends up costing them as a, at the end there. You can see there's the pass made at the last moment. Boy, is that close. Just enough to eliminate the Vikings and advance the Onyx. They're into the second semifinal. And our final group today... Group D, as always, you know that. Well, today, Group D is uh, going to consist of the Savage Jackal, the Lynx Ruffus, the Speedy Hunters, and the Archangels. And let's see what happens. Looks like a couple of hard contacts made. Uh-oh, maybe a negative 40 for the Savage Jackal. Is it enough to keep them alive? The answer might be yes. Let's have a look. It is. 
So a loss of 40 points for the Savage Jackal because of where they landed. It's still enough for them to advance. They beat out the Archangels 65 to 51. Lynx Ruffus scores 113. And they advance pretty easily anyway. It was a score of 105 for the Savage Jackal before you take away the 40 that they lost. As you have a look at the replay here, not close for the Speedy Hunters, ran directly into a pylon. Let's look there. A little bit of contact, in fact. It was the Lynx Ruffus that kind of sent the Savage Jackal into that negative 40 spot, but they were able to hold on. Despite losing 40 points, they still advance by 14 into the second semifinal. So our semifinals are set, eight teams down, eight teams to go. And the first semifinal here, Swiftblade, the Trojans, the Janitors, and the Steel Brothers. Janitors have been a strong competitor. Can they continue that here? Top to advance. Let's see. Might have some scoring. There's a negative 25. It's going to go back. Maybe they'll pick up plus 30. Will they? The answer is no. But it's still enough to get it done. The Steel Brothers pass the Janitors at the last moment. They advance to the final, joining the Trojans, who scored 113. 94 for the Steel Brothers. They beat them out by seven points over the Janitors. 43, way back with Swiftblade. We'll have a look at the replay here and kind of see what happened with, Split, with Swiftblade. Yep, pretty hard contact there with that first pylon. And boy, I'll tell you what, the Janitors and the Steel Brothers all over plussing and minusing their scores. Ultimately, neither landed on a bonus or a negative. And it just happened to be a last minute pass by the Steel Brothers to advance to the final. So how about that one? As again, there's a good chance we're gonna end up with a first time winner. Swiftblade, the Janitors, Oris 1, and Flush are the winners through our first four events. And so there's a pretty good chance with what we're looking at that you're going to end up with, again, another first-time winner through these five events. Here's semifinal B. Onyx, Savage Jackal, Lynx Ruffus, Tatu Bola. Who will advance? Hard contact a couple of times there. All the way back, maybe a negative 40 going to come and play. How about that move by Onyx? They will get it done. 113. The Savage Jackal with a score of 112, another strong run for them. Again, they lost that 40 points in their group stage, but again, a strong run down all the way to the end. Tatu Bola scores over 100, yet they failed to advance with a score of 101, and the Lynx Ruffus struggling there. They scored just 40 points, and so an easy... Uh, maybe an easier pull a swallow there. They almost landed on the spot that automatically eliminates you. But either way, they were done and pretty significantly they were over 70 points behind the next closest or behind uh, where they needed to be to try to advance into the final. So the Trojans, the Steel Brothers, the Onyx, and the Savage Jackal, we will have another first time winner in event number 5 of the 2021 Marble Champions League. There are the winners. See it up on, on your screen there. And here we go. The finale. The Trojans trying to get it done. They have been successful mostly throughout this year, but they have not had a win. And they're not going to get it here. Who will? Is it the Savage Jackal? Here come the Onyx at the last moment. They are going to run out of room. And it's the Savage Jackal that will win it with 105 points. The Steel Brothers take silver by a single point. 104 for them. Bronze goes to the Onyx. They pick up 98 points, and the Trojans struggling there in the finale. They score just 49. They'll take fourth place in today's event. Let's have a look at the replay and see how it shook out. Got pretty close there at the end of for a second. I thought the Onyx might pull it out and just roll their way to a victory. In fact, they made pretty hard contact with that middle pylon there, but still able to just have a solid, slow roll. The Savage Jackal very nearly landed again in the negative 40 spot, which would have cost them. But ultimately, just not enough speed there from the Onyx Marble to be able to continue past the 100 part. So the Savage Jackal, they are the winners. Congratulations to them. They become our fifth different winner in five different events. As they win pinball here, event number five of the 2021 Marble Champions League. Congratulations to them up on your screen now. The results from today's event, they pick up 20 points. The Steel Brothers finish second, Onyx third, Trojans fourth, Tatu Bola kind of picking it up here. As they finish in fifth, all the way down to the Sphere Spiders, they do not pick up a point after finishing in last in the overall standings now for the season. 
after we calculate in today's events. The Steel Brothers, they retake the lead, and it's a three-point advantage over the Vikings. We'll see what we can get from the Savage Jackal. They move up to six. They're just six points behind. But it's the Steel Brothers, the Vikings, and the Flush right now all atop the leaderboard in what is still a very tight, very wide open competition. Congrats to the Onyx after a third place finish. They get up to 38 points, still a long way to go for them, but they're getting a little bit better. The Steel Brothers after another silver. They are now your overall standings leaders, but today everybody aspires to be the Savage Jackal. They get the win with a gold medal performance in pinball. And they put themselves maybe in the driver's seat to get further up the leaderboard. They move their way into sixth place, but again, after five events, it's the Steel Brothers holding a three-point lead in the overall standings for the 2021 Marble Champions League. Until next time, I'm Keanu Birziki, and you've been watching a presentation of Marble Fubica.